मेरे मैसेज हैं सारे पाकिस्तानियों के लिए कि मेहनत से अपने ड्रीम्स को हासिल करो और कभी हारने मानो बिकॉज जिंदगी ना मिलेगी दोबारा पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद This football journey was quite odd. I never really liked football. I never even watched the game until I was nine years old. I started off as a baseball player. Um, I played this little game before called T-ball, and in that my first season of it, I was MVP. I won two hats and I got to dump water on my coach. And then from there, I just kept loving the game of baseball. I thought is what I wanted to do. I went to the home team here, Toronto Blue Jays. I went to some of their games, but now coming to think about it, I really only did it because I wanted to be exactly like my big brother, and obviously now I don't. But when I was、um, nine years old, I watched the World Cup in Brazil, and that's when I first really loved the game of football. I really loved Argentina play, as my father was the one who showed me them,、um, and I really loved them because of Messi. Um, when I saw them play, I don't know what it was that really got me into the game, but I just loved the way football was played. I loved how kind of how the crowd was always in it,、um, and just made me desire the game even more.、Um, because of that, I went downstairs in my basement once when the World Cup ended, and we bought a ball from the store nearby, and I just started playing. I used to search up videos about how Messi used to dribble, how he used to score, shoot. All this and that, when I knew nothing, but I just practiced in my basement for hours and hours, day and day.、Um, I used to play the crowd behind me every time I would shoot and score to pretend like I was in an actual game. And then from there on, I just worked really hard. Being a Pakistani Canadian player is very special to me, and I believe it's quite special to me because I haven't heard of many, or even one at all. Being the only one in the world. At anything you do is quite hard because there are tons of people nowadays doing tons of different things. For me, I have never heard of a Pakistani Canadian player who has made it big in football. My goal is to become a professional football player who can represent Pakistan and represent Canada to its fullest. And for being a Canadian player as a being a captain of a team, that is true. I went out to Italy.、Um, I was scouted out here in Canada, and I was fortunate enough to be declared as the captain of the team, where we played certain teams like Lazio. And、uh, Primfuega, which is a Division Two team, which is a very, very tough team to play against. I want to inspire many kids to believe that no matter what they want to do, whether the impression is that we can or we can't, they can. I don't know any Pakistani player, Pakistani Canadian to be exact, that is a football player, and that's why I want to inspire dozens around, like I already have, and go into the sport of football. I have had a couple people around the community here. Have told me that they put their four-year-old childs in football programs, just like I was, hoping to do the same things that I'm doing. Coach Yoti was a mix of both. On the field, he was a professional. All he cared about was football and winning. Nothing else mattered other than football. So when we're on the field, he was very stern, right down to business, and get the job done. The one thing I liked about him, and which made him such a professional, was that off the field, he was very, very jolly and easygoing. But that was because we earned it. If you would play well on the field, then he will make your life so easy off it. Coach Yoti did tell us about it. In fact, it was the first thing he ever said to us when、um, we first went to go meet him to talk about this Italy trip and how it's gonna go.、Um, he had to tell us a little bit about himself, and the first thing he brought up was about how he tackled Maradona, and he had a clear photo of it. My mind was boggled even more because one, I heard about Yoti's accolades, but I never knew about how he played against Maradona. Coach Yoti told us about how Maradona was very flashy on and off the field, and on how he was a professional throughout. But again, he was like, it was like he wasn't playing the game professionally. It was like he was just playing with his friends. I am a giant fan of Lionel Messi.、Um, I inspired to be like him. I inspired to play like he plays. He, to me, is the greatest player of all time. I first watched him when I was nine years old、um, in the 2014 World Cup, and just seeing him. Destroy those countries like it was nothing was incredible to me.、Um, the fact that he's so little also kind of relates to me <laughs> because I'm just a little little brown kid. But、um, I inspire and I play or I try to play as just like him. 
When I was young, I used to go all the way down to my basement, grab a ball, and I used to just learn little tricks that he did. I still get some coaches or some people tell me that I have a similar move to Messi or I kind of play like him. And to me, that is the biggest compliment ever to my footballing ability because I want to be just like him. I want to be just like the greatest player of all time. When I went to Barcelona, I was able to see the stadium. And I know I shouldn't say this, but when I saw it, I cried. Um, seeing the stadium was one of the most beautiful things to me because I've never seen a football pitch so, like, so appreciated by, a, by the culture, by how everyone is around it. It's like a family there. Um, when I got into the stadium, it boggled me even more because they had so many accolades of Messi. They had the Ballon d'Ors there, which I was able to touch and hug, and I would try to kiss everything, even though I know I can't legally. But um, as far as meeting him, I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to meet him as it was the summer, and they obviously have their break. And um, obviously, hopefully one day, I can meet him. And if he's listening by chance, Messi, text me. All right, find my Instagram, do something, please. The difference between the game in Spain and in Canada is very different, but it's also not. Um, I find when it comes down to dribbling, passing, things like this, it's going to be the same. I think it's the same in all different countries. I think football isn't a different game. It's all played very similar. But where I say there is a big difference is because Spain is very, very heavy on the tactics of the game, on why you should run this way, why you're moving from your left foot first, then your right, or your right and your left. It's, this to me was something that was never really brought up as much as it should be compared to Spain. When I was moved to Spain, we used to do tactical sessions before the training, and I've never done that before. And to me, I was lost when I first started because they were very, very advanced. Being the youngest player in Rayo Mahadona is honestly the best thing that can happen to me. Rayo Mahadona is one of the top teams in Spain and especially their academy. Um, being a Pakistani Canadian who doesn't know anything to do with the Spanish clubs or doesn't know anything about Spain, um, it did take some time for me to learn and was it intimidating? At the start, yes. When I went there, it was so professional. You had many different fields all around. You had a cafeteria, an office where your jerseys are set, and, and then a completely giant gym with a giant club badge on it. But seeing all these things was intimidating, but it gave me a lot of motivation because it made me realize that I've made it this far, like this place is for another place for me to just keep going up. But I think with my play and, you know, kind of showing him my speed and how, yes, I am a little brown kid, but I can go up with the big dogs. Um, I think I, I showed that I proved it. And well, clearly I did because I made the team. But um, from there, I was able to just really appreciate and put my name down as one player who can really stand out there. And I hope to just keep on working hard and get to higher places. Congratulations to Canada and for everything they achieved in that World Cup. The fact that they made it in there was mind-boggling enough, but to play against the teams, like play against the team that was in the final last year and one who was in the semifinal, and to get success of them, to score a goal against Croatia, to only hold Belgium to one nothing, it was amazing to see. But hopefully they can learn enough experience off this, and in 2026 they can do a lot better. And my goal, hopefully one day, and will happen, is that I play for them and be a part of that team, so to make history.